Hello everybody. So this week we are going to be focusing on 2G power words. Okay, each day this week you're going to be looking at some different power words, you'll be reading some different books, and you're going to be doing some different activities. So today is lesson one. We are going to be focusing on six different power words, and then we will write them in our notebook, and we will go ahead and read a book on the ARC bookshelf. If you don't already have your handy dandy notebook out, I need you to go ahead and grab it, open it up to a new page for me. Put your name at the top with your date and put power word lesson one at the top because you are going to be uploading this paper to your teacher so that they can see it. Okay, they need to know that you watch this because if I'm not your teacher, then you won't know. Okay, if you need time to get that set up, Go ahead and feel free to pause this. All right, the first word we are going to talk about is, does anybody know what this word is? Yell it nice and loud so I can hear you. Good, how, awesome. How are you going to finish this work, okay? I want you to write how two times in your notebook, okay? Try to turn around the one time so you're not looking at the word. See if you can spell it from memory. If you need a few more seconds to write that second time, take it. Go ahead and feel free to pause it. What's this word? It's very similar to the last. Yell it nice and loud so I can hear you. Good, now. Awesome. So it's just like how with an N sound. Okay, go ahead and write this two times in your notebook. Challenge yourself, turn around. Don't look at the word. See if you can do it from your memory. If you need more time, feel free to hit pause. And what is this word, my friends? Yell it nice and loud so I can hear you. When, awesome. When are we gonna be back at school? I know we're all asking that question, okay? Go ahead and challenge yourself. See if you can write it without looking at the word. You can write it two times in your notebooks. We wanna practice writing these power words. Okay, feel free to pause if you need more time. And go ahead and tell me what this word is. Awesome, house. You are at your house, okay? Awesome job. Keep going. Write it two times in your notebook. And what is this word? All right, and what is this word, my friends? You're right, home. Good, we are home during school now. Good, go ahead and write that two times in your notebook. Great job, let's keep going. If you need more time, go ahead and just hit the pause button. And what is this word? Yell it nice and loud. Give, awesome. I'm giving you the words. Challenge yourself on this one. Turn your back around. Write the words two times in your notebook. Awesome job. If you need more time, go ahead and take a few more minutes. What we are going to do now is we are going to open our ARC bookshelf. Our ARC bookshelf looks like this. Take your time logging in, okay? Your teacher is the one that gave you your login. If you don't know it, feel free to message your teacher to find out what that login is, okay? Because you're going to need it to read the book that we're going to read today. We are going to click on the 2G. And we are gonna read the baby polar bears, okay? You are gonna go ahead and read polar bear babies to yourself at home, okay? When we are off of this video. And you can go ahead and read the book to yourself, okay? Then when you're done, you're gonna go ahead and answer these questions right down here, okay? What keeps the polar bear mom warm? What does the polar bear mom do to get ready for her baby? Okay, and what did this book tell you about polar bear babies? 
hey, we're focusing on informational text right now. So feel free to think about how are they the same and different. Compare and contrast human babies and polar bear babies. My first graders had been working on that all last week and the week before. Compare and contrast those animals. Hey, what's the best way you can do that? Go ahead and you can leave this right up here at the end of the picture at the end of the video so that when you're done reading, you can go right back and answer these questions right in your notebook. You're doing a great job, everybody. Keep up all that hard work.